Okay, that's my 2000 Jeep Grand Cherokee with the 4.7 liter V8. Gonna do the big three upgrade today. So the big three is upgrading your alternator wire to your battery, battery ground to the chassis, and the motor ground to the chassis. This is your positive alternator wire. It's gonna lead right around and into your loom and into the positive. Since I got the yellow top Optima, I'm going to go ahead and use the side post and run this nice thick aught gauge wire over to it. Just right over to there. Uh, got a bunch of the aught gauge wire from the store. Just went out and got a big length of it. Um, been cutting it in strips, kind of measuring it where I need it. And cutting it down to strips, the black ones, all I did was wrap those with some electrical tape to make them black. These are going to be my two ground wires. This is going to be the one that I'm going to use for the power going from the alternator. And I'll be showing you how all that goes in. Do this. You're going to want to keep your existing wire, just add to it. And right now, I am just going to kind of mock up how long I want this so I can get this cut to length and add the other connector to the other side. Once you feel comfortable with how long you have it, go ahead and mark it. And then you can cut it and add your other connection. Okay, now that all my wires are cut to length and ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and start with the motor ground first. Doesn't matter which one you start with first, I'm just going to start with that one first. Alright, the motor ground wire is attached to this big bolt right here. It's a tiny little flimsy wire I was showing you earlier. And we're going to put it up to the firewall right there. Let's go ahead and get that off. 11 sixteenths bolt. Use some sandpaper and go ahead and clean that surface up a little bit. Now bolt up a little bit. Back up. Give it a wiggle, make sure it doesn't go anywhere. See, there's already a ground being used there. Let's go ahead and just clean that area up. The next thing I'm going to do is use the side post terminal on the battery for the battery ground. I'm not removing any of the grounds, I'm just adding to them. Get these ran in there however you want to get them. Alright, now that that one's nice 
Okay, now that you have your ground bolt nice and tight, let's go ahead and come over here to the alternator. Okay, now you're gonna add this aux gauge wire from the alternator power over to the positive on the battery. Don't need to remove this completely, just go ahead and add to it. Okay, you can see how the existing power wire is much smaller than the wire that we're adding to it. And it's got this little tab here that makes it only go into the alternator a certain way. Okay, because this doesn't want to sit flush against that one, I am going to go ahead and add some washers in there for now. I'm going to go to the hardware store in a little while or after this video and put an actual bolt on there. Okay, now that you have that on there nice and tight, go ahead and come over here and connect it to your battery. All right, now just bolt that, bolt that down. And big three is all done. Okay, now the big three is all done. Got the aux gauge to the alternator. Run over here to the battery. Uh, I still need to put the battery power to the rear of the vehicle, so I need to hook that up. I have both my grounds right here. One's for the battery and one's for the motor. Follow it around, going over to the motor, the big bolt right there on the motor. And that's big three, all done.